Hello and welcome to our Little Fishes session this morning. It's lovely to have you join me here. We are going to start today the beginning of a new series that we're going to be looking at in the beginning of 2021. And that is looking back again at the really good stories that um, the Bible has to share with us. So we're going to be exploring storytelling. Now, the first story that we're going to start with today is that of the wise and the foolish builder. Now, what I'd love to invite you to do is to look around your house and see what you have that you can use to build with. It may be that you've got some Lego or some mega bricks lying around. Perhaps you've got some blocks like these ones. Or if you don't have that, you may find that if you raid your kitchen cupboards, you've got some Tupperware blocks and they are really good for building and balancing with as well, as you can see there. So why not just press pause on this video and while it's pausing, just go and get whatever it is that you need to do some building. And then when you come back, you can press pause and listen to the story again. And while you're listening to the story, just play with your blocks and be building at the same time as you listen to me. Now, here are our first two men that need homes for themselves and for their families. Now, the first thing that these two men had to do was to decide where they wanted their home to be. Did they want to live near their relatives or perhaps a bit further away from the village? Did they want a solid base for their home, which, although being the best way forward, does require a lot of hard work? Or perhaps were they looking for a softer base for their foundation to be a better option for them? Easier at the beginning, maybe, but it might prove a challenge later on. So just shifting all the hard work from now to further down into the years. They were both able and creative people, and so they set about the task of finding their foundation for their new home. Now the first man, this one here, he wanted it a bit easier in life, and so he chose not to put so much energy into building the foundation of his house, hence opting for this land here, mm, nice, safe and soft and easy to dig. Big, big mistake, huge mistake. But well, we'll find out more about that later on. The second man, he decided that he had the energy that he wanted to invest into now and that that would benefit him in the future. So he took the harder option and he looked for a rocky, harder base of land to have as his foundation for his home. Well, the foundations were dug and laid and they set about choosing the materials with which to build their homes. Now, the problem was that the first man didn't really set his heart on the job. He knew he wanted the end product to keep him warm and to look nice, but he didn't really want to put the energy into it. So he looked for shortcuts along the way. He looked for the easier way to achieve things and to do what he needed to do. That's quite nice though, doesn't it? Now the second man, however, he gave the challenge everything he had. He realised that he might not always be easy, but if he put his energy into it and he got creative, he would be able to achieve an end product that would something he could be proud of. Let me just keep popping this together. Something he could be proud of, something that would stand him in good stead for the for the future. How do we get this here? And there we go. He 
He worked hard and set him up for the years ahead. Now the first man's house, although it looked very pretty, started to crumble as soon as it was put to use. It wasn't made very well and it didn't have a firm foundation. And as soon as he asked things of it to put his furniture in and move things around, it started to crumble and fall. And as soon as the rains came down and he got into a storm, it collapsed completely. Now, the second man's house, in contrast, stood firm and strong when the storm came along and provided him with everything he needed as he headed into the future. Jesus said that people who listen to him and trust what he says are like the house built on the rock. They're building their lives on a solid foundation and when the storms come in life, they will be safe. Many of us want to be safe at this time. So I thought we'd do something we haven't done for a while, which is to have a time of prayer together. For this time of prayer, you just need to grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen. And then you might want to pause the video to do that or just carry on if you've got it to hand. Write the name of Jesus in the middle of your piece of paper. If you can't write, you might want to just draw a picture of a smiley face. Now take whatever you've been building with, whether that's Tupperware blocks, Lego or, or blocks like this. Take one of them and just hold it in your hand as you sit around the piece of paper in front of you. Take a moment to think if you want to build your life like the foolish man whose house fell down or the wise man who built on the firm foundation. If you want to be like the wise man and build your life on a solid ground, then I'd love to invite you to take your brick and to put it on the piece of paper on the name of Jesus. And if you like, you can say these words, Jesus, I want to build my life on you. When everyone's had a chance to, to do that or to just hold on to their brick if they're not sure, then together as a family, just say Amen. We're going to end with a song now. Some of you parents might know this, some of you may not be old enough to know this, um, but just follow me, follow the actions if you don't know the song, and, uh, and it's one that I'm sure you'll learn quite quickly. So you need to get your hands out for this song because we're going to be building together. And it's called The Wise Man Built His House Upon The Rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. Now we sing that again about the foolish man this time. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand fell flat. Splat! That's a fun song, isn't it? Well, I hope you've had a lovely time with our story this morning. You can join me again, uh, not next week, because next week we're having a service where all the families and everybody else from the congregation are all in together. It's called an all-in service, and you will need to get hold of the Zoom link for it. You can either get that on Newswire, or you can just email the church if you're watching this and you don't get our Newswire. Um, and if you email the church, they'll send you the Zoom link. There'll be plenty for everybody to do. If you haven't been to one before, don't worry. There'll be um, 
different activities for different age groups or different styles of worship. Um, so there's something for everybody. If you want to get busy, use your hands during the service, then you need to email me and let me know um, because I will put a little bag together for you, which you will need to collect yourselves from either Cassington or Ensham um, Porchway, the church Porchway. Sorry for the little notice at the end there. Um, but that's it from me. Do get in contact if you're not sure of anything that I've just said. And I will see you next week at the All In Service. And then the week after that, we will continue our stories in the Bible. Take care.